Hi guys and girls, welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. As you can see by the thumbnail, um, yeah, I actually couldn't properly lift the bag this month. It is heavy. H to the E to the A V Y heavy. And we have got some we've got some good christmas goodies some things that you guys kept sending me on instagram and i'm like i need that i need that in my life so shan let's not rabbit rabbit because i feel this is going to be a long one um normally the december ones are done by the christmas tree but it was too heavy for me to drag across the room to be perfectly honest guys so it's been on the bed and it stayed on the bed and let's get in with our december home bargains haul the last one of 2023 where on earth has this time gone our last one we have done 12 of you and you are the final one now. Right. So, um, we have some necessities for Christmas. We have some non-necessities. We have some bits that you're going to shout at me for. And we've got some essentials. So, kicking off with the essentials, guys. Mum needed kitchen rolls. I haven't been able to get the full pack for a while. However, I do feel these are slightly smaller. This is the Buffalo 4 roll. They say 4 beast of absorbency. 400 sheets per pack. Now, I think that when you get the two or the threes, they're normally a bit taller. However, these were, I would say, 279, 289. So, it's not too bad, but you can get the big jumbo buffaloes. And I think they're about 130, 140 per roll now. But, yeah, stocked up because, best believe, with Christmas coming up, we've got food testing, there's Christmas dinner. We're going to have to stoke fat off of things. They are well and truly needed. Now... Another thing that was a necessity, and I'm actually very excited because, you know me, your girl was going through mulled wine like there's no tomorrow. This was £3.49 in Home Bargains, and it is just the three meals mulled wine. Now, three meals, guys, if you're like me, you will always see this in a garden centre. It won't be £3.49 in a garden centre, let me tell you that. No, in garden centres, these can sometimes be £5 or £6. So if you're like me, and many a years you've been robbed at a garden centre don't not anymore guys please 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 check out the mold wine in your home bargains probably like likes of b&m and that may do them but yeah your bargain shops not more than 350 a bottle a lot better to the five and six quid that you get in the garden centers because everyone adds their little bits on i'm just looking me gonks had a little bit of a spin around i have him so that his little hat fits in the crease and he's been turned away mum must have been uh, moving him now Mum wanted a tub of Haribo's, but I couldn't see any tubs in my um, local home bargain, so I picked this up. This is Haribo Mega Stars. It was four ninety nine, and it is eight hundred grams. And I think basically it's just all the old style classics in one. I don't know if they're individual bags or whether filled with two hundred gram bags of Star Mix, Tang Fastic, Super Mix, and Giant Straws. Okay, so it's one big bag of each. Okay, so that's a little bit of everything and anything. I can deal with that. I mean, I don't know if mum likes all of that. She doesn't really like Tangtastic, so... Oopsie, I'm just making sure. I've had to set a timer tonight because I know that I can rabbit it and rabbit it and rabbit it and rabbit it. So I've given myself an hour so we can sit here and do that because I actually need to get this edited and ready for tomorrow because your girl is far behind. And I've got PT tonight, so pedal to the metal. Now, I've just said I've got PT and I'm bringing snacks out. These I wish Golden Wonder done share bags, aka Shannon bags. These are £1.29. They used to be 99p for six packs. Not anymore. But this is the turkey and stuffing. So probably with these, me and mum will take a couple because we won't I say we take a couple. We said that on the last lot and then we ate them all, so maybe not. Um we might take three and then we'll give Dada the other half because I'll probably keep them for maybe the 24 hours of Christmas food, which I don't know actually when I'm filming that. I feel like I could be filming that next weekend perhaps. I'm looking at my tree and mum has been in and touched my tree. She's there's spaces now that are filled. She de she doesn't like spaces on the tree. I'm like I've just looked I'm like that never used to be there. She's been moving the stuff on my tree. I haven't even looked at the main trees. I bet you she's done all of them as well. And then also, these were, I think these are about 170, 180. You're paying because they're walkers. Festive turkey flavour. Five pack. I think these could be quite nice. I think these could be quite nice. A buttered festive turkey. So, I mean, we'll see. I'm all here. Sometimes the gimmicky flavours can be a bit meh. 
you know they're a little bit meh. but we shall see we could do a comparison of a golden wonder against a walkers see what we feel like now this is again i've got all the crisp at the top because i think there's a lot of heavy stuff in the bottom so i didn't want to um squash them Mackies of Scotland. Now, you know, I normally do get these around Christmas time, and I feel that Mackies are the ones that do the popcorn as well. So, this is the Boxing Day Curry Festive flavour, and these were £1.29 also. £1.29. You know what? You can never have enough crisps and snacks at Christmas time. But, let's get on with. I needed this at work. You guys know this. This is a lifesaver for me. If you're trying to drink more water, and you don't really like it, you need a little bit of juice. These are, I want to say under a pound. I want to say like 89 or 99p. And they are the strawberry and watermelon H2O juiced. And they're literally just like the little squash sachets that you can just and dilute your water and make it not taste so bland. Um, oopsie. Mum said, I don't need much cleaning stuff. I had to go and get it. Now, you know me, guys. I don't really deal with pine. But. This wasn't too bad. This is the Astonish Concentrated Disinfectant in Pine Forest. And dilute one... Oh, God, this is scientific. Dilute 1.40 with clean water and apply for five minutes. Oh, my goodness. Right, this is the simpler terms. One capful makes 400 ml. Dilute 1.2 for use as... Oh, goodness gracious, no. We'll just... We'll do it like that. Again, Shannon, don't inhale too much, but... It's very nice. It's very fresh. It's very pine. As it says, pine forest, that is what we have there. And Astonish is about 120, but I do actually really like Astonish. I do prefer their summer scents, I'm not going to lie. The one that they do with winter, which is really nice, is like the winter spice. That's kind of like your Zaflora dupe. I didn't see any really new scents from Zaflora this year. And I don't like the new packaging. I can't lie, guys. I'm not a fan of the new packaging. Popcorn! Now, this is actually four for a pound, but I took one to work because I was a little bit snacky. You guys know me, salted popcorn all the way. I am a salty girl. Unless it's, I can do sweet and salty, but I can't do all sweet. I much prefer my salty popcorn. And when I did this at work, yes, I um, stunk the whole ground floor out. But I was loving my life sitting there with my popcorn. Felt like I was sitting there ready to watch a film. I mean, that's delusional. I was stuck in the hell hole, but... Hey ho, we have to do things that give us comfort. And if by me having my popcorn and stinking out the whole entire ground floor gave me comfort, I will probably do it again because I quite like annoying people sometimes. Oopsie! Now, guys, I've. Right. VK, if you remember, right? If you're a 90s baby, you used to have like Bacardi Breezer, Smirnoff. I think VK was something back then, but it used to be smaller bottles like Alcapops. We saw this and it's £2.79 and it's VK Chocolate Orange Vodka Mix. Now, I don't know if you're still supposed to dilute this or whether you have this neat. I don't know what mixer you'd put with chocolate orange. Maybe Coke? I'm not entirely sure, but um, yes, that... uh. That somehow crept into the trolley along with, I'm excited for this one, another three meals. But this is the spiced clementine mulled wine. Spiced clementine. Again, this was 350 So as I say, please don't go to your garden centres and get um, stung. But this I thought would be quite nice because I actually put a lot of oranges when I do my mulled wine. Normally a bottle of mulled wine, a huge big orange, huge big orange cut up into slices and chunks. So I'm hoping that this will have the same like citrusy taste as my one does because yeah, I, uh, I do like that. I do like that indeed. As I say, I think sometimes you can get some mulled wines that are a bit sharp that actually take on the full red wine acidity but if you can get one that is orange we're all good we are all good right now i was so happy that i managed to get this because i had i'm gonna say about 20 or 30 people send me either an email something on instagram or a screenshot or tell me down below about this pot in home bargains and if i remember correctly it was a tenner and it is the home range 1.5 litre snowflake ceramic casserole dish and you go manage to get it how i never normally be able to get the stuff that i want in home bargains do i for seasonal stuff remember like glass pumpkins took ages you guys were sending me them i could not get it but i've managed to get it look i cannot wait dan was like what are you going to serve in it i was like turkey curry or turkey stew 
on like Boxing Day. This will be my little uh, my little ramekin and I'm very, very happy. And as I say, I was like, oh, there was quite a lot of them. I wish they'd have done like little snowflake bowls to go with it. I think that would have been really nice. Or maybe like a smaller ramekin and then maybe a huge one, like a proper huge stock pot. Mm -mm -mm. A family wrapping paper for Dan. <laughs> they have a huge, huge Grinch section at my home Barkins. And this was only 99p for four meters. He did say that he was going to use this for mine. And I was like, hey, no, 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 no. This is for you. He's not really a Grinch, but yeah, he, uh, he does enjoy Christmas. However, he's getting to realize just how much i actually enjoy it like he saw from the videos last year he's like okay and then when he walked in and he sees it he's like i'm actually living it now i'm like yes you are yes you are and then something else that you know is an absolute staple for me and mama g it's good old mug shots mug shots noodles and of course you know the flavor chicken and mushroom this is i think these are about 49p each now they don't tend to do the deals on them you used to get three for a quid, but you can't get that anymore. So, um, yeah, we've got four here, as I say. Kind of more expensive because they're not doing the deals, but you can't go wrong with a mug shot. I don't know why they don't do any other flavours. All you guys told me, like, B&M do all the Christmas flavours. Why do Home Bargains, Home Bargains, why do you not do any extra festive flavours, please? Why are you not addressing this for us? I feel like we need this in our lives here, okay? So, um yes we will have to we'll have to have a little look on that let's have a look we've got a lot of random stuff in it oh i picked this up for mum now i don't know if it's going to be a present or something for her christmas eve box but you know i always get her a hand painted glass and these are three pound fifty and i got her the one tis the season to get tipsy i love that it's just a nice little wine glass and as i say they don't normally make it till the following christmas because she does normally smash them throughout the year that's why she gets one every year but um yes i cannot wait i don't actually as i say i don't know if it's going to be for her christmas eve or whether it's going to be as a present i'm not entirely sure but i know i've got to hide it because she will be trying to find this because i think when i'm at pt she'll probably come in and take her bits and bobs out and she cannot be seeing that that is not for her to see okay right you know I love my candy canes, and these are Grinch candy canes. So they're still the standard peppermint flavour, but they're just green. Instead of the classic red and white, they are the green and white. Peppermint, you get, how many do you get? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 for 99p. And you know me, I go through candy canes like anything. I haven't started my candy cane fix just yet, because after a couple of weeks, I kind of get bored of them. So I like to start it the week of Christmas and then i'll have the week after christmas and then by the new year i've got it all out of my system all out of my system ready for a new year but um yes absolutely love them and i'll tell you what guys these were really good these was on my ones as you walked in they was on like the second little while bit two for two pound and they are instant hot chocolates two hot chocolate sticks with mini marshmallows and we've got a galaxy and a malteser I thought, you know what, they're just quick and easy. When you don't actually want to be boiling the milk on the stove, putting your thing in, that's like a nice, quick, easy option, ain't it? So grabbed that and also, oh, grabbed mum some coffees. We all know she loves her coffees. But at the moment, see, this I was thinking of <laughs> as a present, some sachets. They're doing the 30 sachets, which is the XXL pack. And these are like, I think, 2 29 Well, normally you pay a pound for a box, so it's actually cheaper and like you're getting a better deal having the bigger box here so yeah i actually should i be funny and put that in a little christmas eve box i might actually do that let's just pop that over there and ignore that because i think that could be something that i will be doing right oh now right i got a lounge set from home bargains i think it was a few months ago in the summertime the short cozy one it had the hood and everything like that absolutely loved it i see this jeff banks i feel jeff banks was the brand that i had before and it's actually a really good brand so i picked this up in a size 10 to 12 and it was 14 pound and it's just a little but it's long the one that i had before was short however it is cuffed legs and it's this gorgeous grey velour. And it just is on the front, sleepy head. But I thought, how nice. I mean, I have gone through all my wardrobes. And I did get rid of a lot of loungewear. So, I have 
got Reed to replace, but I just saw this and it was so soft and I thought, oh, this is like the perfect travelling outfit. However, it is quite thin. So maybe this could be something for springtime or winter if all the candles and all the heating is on, perhaps. But um, yes, I really did see it really did see i really did enjoy that when i saw it and i was like mm. i felt it and as soon as i felt the softness i was like you're coming home with me and then yes i've got another doormat <laughs> even though we actually can't get to the back door now because i've put the tree there and the unit so we've got the candy cane one out front but these are 199 or 229 and it says have a magical christmas so again We've got a spare, like we had for the Halloween. We have spares for Christmas, which is great because they do tend to get a little bit muddy. Obviously, you come in from work and you dust your boots off and everything like that. So, um, yes, we are, are maybe having a spare magnet. What's going on now? And Summers, you can't be messaging me free for two. Mm -mm -mm. I can't be doing that, darling. I got this as well because I thought this was quite good. If you're looking for like little gift bags, this I think was like 79p. Yeah. 79p and it's just a cute little polar bear and i thought you know what it's great also sometimes when you just want to transfer some like big things you want to transfer some big things so like um what will i be doing so in the new year when i'll be stocking up all my uh food drawers and everything will i say i think i will still be in my workplace in the new year but fingers crossed it won't be for much longer i'm trying to i'm trying to put myself out there not like that trying to put myself out there and uh, get me feelers for what's around because i want to complete change i think i want to come completely out of like the construction side and go more for um, personal assistant i used to do pa back in the day maybe a personal assistant go down like maybe social media or content creation anything like that so we shall see we shall see and I got this. This was so funky, guys. This is a seagrass placemat in the shape of a tree. However, I do wish I'd got more than one. I think these are about £2.53. That's why I just got the one. Because I thought that could put my snowflake casserole tin on. But I do wish I'd have got more than one. So maybe if I see any in the new year, I might have to go back and pick some more up. But hey-ho, at least we've got the one. One is better than none, guys, okay? One is better than none. Right more crisp i'm not gonna lie guys though i'm quite worried about these ones you guys have said these and i'm not i don't know if it works some of you say great some of you say yeah this is the sweet and spiced walkers in christmas pudding flavor i don't know how i feel about a potentially sweet crisp If you've tried them, please let me know down below. But I got it again for the gimmick because I thought we could have a few like little uh, crisp selections for the 24 hours. But yeah. And I've just found another bag of crisps. These are a returning favourite. We have had these before. These again are Mackies. Oh, they're a bit squashed. They've been squashed under me bleach. Okay, we've got a very flattened pack of Mackies of Scotland Pigs in Blanket festive flavours. So as I say, this is the same brand who do the Boxing Day curry. But they're just a bit more squashed. Maybe I didn't pack it as good as I thought I did. And also, I think I got a bit carried away because um, I got another concentrated disinfectant from Astonish, as I say, under a pan. But this is the winter spice. So this is like the Zaflora dupe. And don't inhale too much lovely cinnamon cloves that is winter that is winter okay and yeah i ended up just getting more than what i thought oopsie oh okay i got another juice my bad i genuinely feel like i go in some form of like a trance in home bargains like i don't think of what i'm doing and stuff just ends up in the basket does anyone else get like that or is that just me i'm gonna quickly uh i need to change the memory card because yes i've still got iceland footage on here and it's saying to me that i've got about 10 seconds see you in a minute i just swapped the memory cards i um couldn't be bothered to <laughs> take all the footage off oopsie right mum wanted some sponges standard sponges power action these are 10 again about 79 80p she uh she doesn't care for sponges she don't care if they're the pink ones. Like, I love the pink ones, don't I? Though, she's like, oh, just any. I'm like, mm, I don't know. 
What have I got here? It feels like a mug. Why have I got a mug in here? Oh, I got a new glass mug. Yes, I did. This screamed at me. This was, I think, $2.99. Look at this. It's a glass mug with a red handle. And it says, gingerbread cheer always found here. That's me. I love gingerbread. I love cheer. I just thought it was really... Did I need another mug? No. Um, did I see it just fall in love? Yes. That is, that is me. This is what I mean. I go down like a rabbit hole. And I can't help my little rabbit hole because I just want everything and anything festive. Oopsie. Right. These are not mine, okay? We have all established who has the sweet tooth in this house. Mackies. Oh, it is Mackies. I thought it was. Mackies of Scotland sticky toffee pudding. Flavoured toffee coated popcorn. God, that's a mouthful. These are, I think, 99p or £1.29. But again, they're slightly crushed. Um, we're just not going to... We're not going to worry about that right about now, are we? No, we are not. And then I got my own popcorn. Now, this was, I think, 354 quid. You're paying because it's the Grinch. It's gimmicky. But this is toffee popcorn covered in white flavoured chocolate. Now, I'm not going to lie, guys. I literally only got it because it's the Grinch. And I thought, oh, my God, green popcorn. So I think I'm going to keep this for the 24-hour food challenge. I think, well, challenge 24 hours eating Christmas food. Because I think it's a Christmassy take on popcorn. Because I know that sticky toffee popcorn ain't going to last long in this house. No, when someone arrives home tonight, that probably will be polished off, you know? Mm -hmm. Standard bleach. This is about 79p. There's nothing more to say about bleach ultra thick bleach the original blast you get it in pink you get it in yellow i went with the blue one because i thought blue kind of winter kind of festive let's go with it now don't shout at me did i need any more no did i see it and think yes yes I picked up the Radox. This was one pan, and this is the Winter Edition Cozy Cabin. Spiced orange and vanilla scent. Guys, this is delightful. Let me tell you, okay? Delightful. Oh, yes. I will be uh, well indulging in that when I get back from PT tonight. It smells delicious. If you see that, give it a whiff. It's not going back on the shelf. It's going straight in your basket. And then, right, these are for me. I can't lie, these are for me and I'm going to hide these because if anyone goes for these, I'm not going to be happy. 99p, a Christmas classic in this household, Tuck. And I will continue this tradition every year because it reminds me of my Nan. However, I feel I haven't got the ones with the stuff in the middle. Have I got, got the cheese biscuits? Oh, drop me out. I thought I had the ones with the cheese in the middle. I think I've just, I've got the wrong ones. Oh, I need more Tucks. Oh, guys, I mean, well, for a quid, I'm still going to snack on them. They will definitely be a little treat. But, you know, the tucks with the bits in the middle. That's what I thought I picked up. I weren't paying attention. Um, what I was paying attention, though, to was uh, some top-ups of uh, rosé. You guys know this. This is silk rosé. This is basically a tequila rosé dupe. But it's a vodka edition. So, it's a uh, vodka rosé. Vodka strawberry rosé, you know what I mean. Um, you get five bottles. Is it five? One, two, three, four, five for three fifty, which I don't think is too bad at all. So uh, yeah, that it didn't creep. It actually went straight into the trolley. I'm not going to lie, guys. And then broken record time. If you go to a bargain shop and don't get your drinks, what are you doing? Flavita. You know, guys, I love my Flavita. These are about 69 79 p a can now, but I love them. Flavour sparkling water. We have two mango and we have a mojito. And it's not a sparkling water where you get like the ish to it. It's actually almost just like a Fanta, but a water version. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. I also got mum a little 10, so maybe I'll put the 10 in her box. These would have been a pound. But a little 10 just to pop in her box instead of the huge big ones. Because I don't think that will fit. Unless I could wrap that up for both of them. I'm not entirely sure, guys. I'm not entirely sure. Picked up some biscuits. These are called Cocos Biscuits. And I guess that they are just like a coconut niece. These were, I feel like, 69p. They was very inexpensive. Compared to some of the biscuits you can get now. Mm -mm, I'm not paying that much for the uh, biscuits. And then... Did I need another air freshener? No. Did I see it and uh, want it? Yes. This is frosted floral cherries. 
lovely. Not going to lie though, Glade, I feel like this was about 130, 140, but smells delightful. Smells lovely, and uh, that went straight in the trolley alongside floor wipes. Power Action, guys, you know these are a returning favourite nearly every month. The apple scented, 15 wipes for one pound. You can't go wrong because they're the big ones. So when mum wants to do like a big, quick, deep clean, she uses the floor wipes. And then I've picked these up because, you know, from Vlogmas, I've been a little bit like chesty. So I've picked up the Vicks Vapor Drops and they are lozenges with lemon flavour and menthol. And these were one pound. I didn't think that was too bad for proper Vicks because, you know, sometimes Vicks, can be a bit pricey guys can't it it can uh, be a little bit pricey pricey and now the last few final things we have the hand sanitizer 50p for 100 mil you know you can never go in the bargain shop and not pick up a hand sanitizer because why not and we have some foody bits i got me sober sober noodles but these are like 130 now I remember back in the day when cup noodles used to be a quid, but I can't find the original packaging. Not the ones where you have to tip them, the original ones like the katsu curry. And then I picked up these peppermint flavour candy spoons because you know me. Peppermint, yes. I feel like these are about 99p. 99p, £1.29. They're not too bad at all. And as I say, you actually get quite a good little bit in there. And sticky toffee pudding crunch creams, of course. He has sticky toffee popcorn. He wants the biscuits. And these, I'm going to guess, were around about probably a quid because, hey ho, it's branded. Now, I saw this. You know that I love the Dead Sea collection. I got the coconut body oil. I'm definitely going to try and get back into my skincare and body care next year. And you know that Dead Sea collection, I love. Oh, the salts, the washing shower gel. I love all of that. So I thought I'll try that. I've got the sugar scrub as well. And then now we're going on to drinks. I've got quite a lot of selection of drinks, starting with Irish cream flavoured coffee syrup, okay? This was £1.29. It's by Sereno Syrups. It used to be Simple Syrups. And I absolutely love this. 250ml. I cannot wait to be putting that in my coffees. And then we have a couple of our juices now these you'll pay i think they're about 150 up to two pound because they're american brands you have jelly belly very cherry and nissi sour apple lemonade so just a few little drinks just uh to quench the palate you know and then oh i'm so looking forward to these guys however we've not had good experiences with this stats and owls these are about 99p a can blueberry lemonade shandy Mum really likes that one, so that was a returning favourite. And then we've got two from Glen Canic Brewery. We've got Christmas Spice Red Ale and Christmas Pudding and Custard Stout. Yeah, if you've been watching the Vlogmas, you know that we've been trying these stouts and there's a reason that they're 99p because they're not that nice. But it's gimmicky. I might actually keep them too for the 24-hour Christmas food. I think that's what I'm going to do. But guys, my bed is absolutely jam-packed. I've got Christmas foods galore, and I think that can conclude the final Home Bargains Haul of 2023. <laughs> so, my lovelies, can you believe that is the final Home Bargains Haul of 2023? I tell you what, is there anything that you want me to pick up for 2024? Or do you want, like, a theme? Anything to do with Home Bargains? Let me know down below how you want me to maybe do the hauls or certain bits I have to get. Like, maybe if there's, like, a challenge in there or, like, my favourite find. If it's not the memory card, it's the battery. It just died on me, guys. It died on me. Um, I actually can't remember where I was up to. I think I was saying if you want me to do, like, maybe something within the Home Bargains haul, like maybe my best find or find something for under a certain amount or a theme, let me know down below. As I say, I want to kind of give them a little bit of a spin, you know. But, guys, I have thoroughly enjoyed Home Bargains for 2023. I mean, I... I lose count. I think some of my best purchases have been the drinks. It's been the bargain drinks or like the little funky flavours of the crisps and the homeware. I think home bargains smash it out for homeware. And long may it continue in 2024. God, 2024. The last year of my 20s, guys. Do you think I'll still be doing home bargains hauls when I'm in my 30s? I'll actually probably enjoy them more because hopefully when I'm in my 30s, I'll have a house that's how we like to think okay but guys i'm not going to sit in ribbit rabbit and take up any more of your day if you did enjoy the video you know what to do hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below and leave us a comment what has been your favorite bit from this haul and maybe if you remember or you've been with me for this year what has been your favorite thing for any of the home bargains hauls we've had this year but yes take care stay safe as always and i'll see you in the next one bye guys